everybody back again with another Star Wars custom today we'll be making Chewbacca so let's get started all right so this was <laughs> this was kind of a bit of a challenge because they're not gonna have a Chewbacca headpiece that I can use there's nothing like that in this game so yeah so I tried my best and uh, let's see the results all right so for the head actually let me move that helmet piece so you can see it better all right so for the Head piece I went with is a uh, custom head number 424. We go with this color here, brown, and then for the basic color, we go with this color. Like make it make it the same color except for the wrinkle. We'll, yeah, just keep it the way it is. Actually, make it this uh, this brown right here. Uh, we don't need any, any accessories, so we can just back out there. And then for the hair piece, uh, let's see. I gave um uh, let's see the long hair piece to act like fur coming down hair. For mostly for and then for the neck piece, I gave him a beard and that way to look like he's got more fur. And for the torso piece, uh, you could go with uh, let's see, I mean, there's one piece torso piece that's got fur in it. If I can find it, oh, this one here, man bag, you could go with that, it's got some fur, but problem is that you're not gonna get the, the belt strap around the torso, so yeah. So that's kind of uh, unfortunate. So what I actually settled for instead is, uh, let's see if I can find it. This one here, the Talon Torso. I think that looks pretty good, so we're gonna make that brown even though it doesn't have fur, but I still think that looks pretty good though. See, look at that. It even has the back, so yeah. I'm, de I'm definitely gonna go with that. For the hands, <laughs> make it brown. For the arm piece, go with Bronze Tiger, which is this one here. And then for the hit piece, yeah, there's no brown hit piece, so you're gonna have to go with Alfred's Lego Movie 2 hit piece. Yeah, that's the only brown hit piece there is. There. And for the legs, you're gonna go to, let's see, believe it or not, I actually went with, uh, there's that. Pride's legs, because I thought that looks like fur on it, so yeah. So all I gotta do is, okay, effects time. So we don't need a left hand glove or right hand glove, but for the hit impact, we're gonna make that black. Same for the jump down effect. Alright, so now there's okay, so I can remember the weapon he uses, so he uses like some sort of crossbow, but there's nothing like that in this game, so what do we do? Should we give him a bow and arrow instead? See something that would resemble a crossbow maybe? You know, it's not really an arrow, it's actually a crossbow, but we're gonna give him that anyways. <laughs> It doesn't matter because there's not because I think doesn't exist in the game with crossbow, so yeah. Actually, why should we give him a bone arrow? We should... I'll give him this instead. This right here. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Break that black. All right, now on to the ability. So you don't need a grow ability, but for the X button, we're actually giving double jump a. Uh, he does do flips, so we're just gonna go with stone number one right here. We're not gonna add a hyper jump. But we're gonna keep tap square empty. Oh, come on. There you go. We're also gonna keep whole square empty, which is, we don't have anything here, this is good. Uh, for tap circle, I guess we can get in detective, detective mode. Take the uh, brown. Probably like like red, so I'm gonna go with that. Old circle, I'm gonna give him destroy mode, style number three. And now for the skills. So we don't need actually yeah, we do need a grapple. There you go. And we don't need technology now. I guess we'll give him wall climbing. Oh right, yeah. Right, yeah, sure, we'll give him super strength and smash walls. Sure, no beam effect, no chrome kinesis, no x-ray, no goon command, no graffiti. We'll give him tracking. Let's see, what should we make it? Should we make it blue? Yeah, I quite like that, so we're gonna go with that. And that'll be it. No fight on red, standard health. Uh, is there like a deep voice? I guess that could work. And then for the target radical, we're gonna go with Mercy Graves, normal speed, and for the animation, uh, this one matter because of the gun, and all you gotta do is just name him.
Uh, here's my custom Chewbacca from LEGO Star Wars. Yeah, this is the best I can do here. So we got tap square for the gun firing, hold square for the targeting gun, tap square for the detective mode, and hold circle for the destroying mode. Alright, so let's get done. So let's fight some crime. That's Chewie. Yeah, of course, we got Han Solo paired up with him because, of course, we gotta have them both paired up. They're, they're iconic duo, so yeah, of course, we have to have them paired up. Oh yeah, we also are getting super strong. I don't think he had that Lego sword, but I still do want to give him damage because I think he is very strong. So I have seen Solo, uh, Han Solo, the Solo story. So yeah, so that's how like this, like it's all about Han Solo and see how, how Han Solo met Chewie and yeah, I remember like Han Solo fell into like this uh, pit too. and Chewie was there and they didn't know each other further than they became friends now. I forgot how, but go watch the movie yourself if you want to know how. <laughs> So yeah, I've seen, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I've seen every Star Wars movie, all of them, all the live action ones, yeah, those are one of my favorite franchises, my favorite trilogy is the original trilogy, of course. Yeah, I have so much good memories watching them. Yeah, it's sad that how most of the cast from the original trilogy have passed away. Like the only ones that are still with us are Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, uh, Anthony Daniels, General Jane Del Rey, who was uh, Billy D. Williams, and I think one more, Ian McDermott. Yeah, those actors are the only ones from the original trilogy that are still alive. Yeah, the ones who passed away are Terry Fisher, Kenny Baker, Peter Mayhew, David Prowse, and Jeremy Bullock. All those are. Uh, Iconic characters that played those iconic, all those characters that played the main ones. Get their CEO on the blower. Yeah, I'm not good with the Chewbacca in person. I'm gonna try. No, no, I'm, no, I'm terrible at it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, okay, you know, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm terrible at the che doing the Chewbacca impression. Definitely, I'm definitely not gonna do it. No, no, okay. Why did I even try to bother trying it? <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I also remember I played Angle with Star Wars. Oh yes. <laughs> I think I might say this before, but I don't know, but I'll say it again, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, I also played Angle with Star Wars, and that's how I got into Star Wars right there. I did play Lego Souls pre target before that game came out, of course, but I mean, I like Lego anyway, so yeah, that's why. So yeah, if you like both Angry Birds and Star Wars, you then you'll love Angry Birds Star Wars. Yeah, there's also Angry Birds Star Wars 2, which I really like, and you get to, you know, like, telepods, like those action figures that you put it on the, on this, uh, on this uh, transparent, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, you put it on that thing and then you you scan it on the on the tablet or on the screen and then they'll and then they'll then your the telepod will transform into and it will transfer to the game. That was pretty cool. I used to collect. I don't collect all of them, which sucks. By almost all of them though, like I collect the sets, the packs, uh, everything, the case, yeah. Those are so much good times. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.